Hey everyone, Zach Primrose here from Primrose Productions Music. Um, today we're starting a series of videos that will get you ready for your release. I've been working on a single for a while, just some of my own stuff, and it's done and it's ready to get put out. So I figured I would take you guys through the whole release process so you can see what's involved and just how to go about it in general. Because there's a lot of steps and some people don't realize how many steps there are. So today we're going to be talking about getting your album art or your track art ready. And generally I recommend hiring out a, an actual graphic designer or a photographer to help you make this a reality. But if you're on a tight budget, if you just spent a lot doing your record and you don't really have enough money left over, I'm going to show you a couple of free pieces of software. They're not even software, they're websites. I'm going to show you some free websites that will help you get a pretty good quality overall album cover set up. And I decided for this one I was going to make mine pretty cheesy, really cliche, so... Yeah, this is more about showing you the software than the quality of my actual album cover, but yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cheesy. But anyway, let's jump right into that. Well, like I said, guys, we're going to be using some free applications today to make ourselves some single art. So the first one we have here is Canva.com. It's a free graphic design kind of a thing. And you can see here, you can go to, they have a ton of different templates for different kinds of designs. You can hit create a design and they have all these things. You can do YouTube thumbnails, YouTube channel art, posters, book covers, pretty much anything you can think of. But today, because we're going to be doing album art, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click custom dimensions. And generally, we're uploading to DistroKid. So DistroKid's recommendation for dimensions of any artwork is it has to be square, first of all. And they want it to be between 1000 by 1000 or 3000 by 3000. So we're just going to play it safe. We're going to do 2500 by 2500. Then it's going to open up a design for you. See, you got this blank square here that you can fill in. And they got a bunch of cool stuff in here. So if you wanted to use this to make graphics for pretty much anything, you know, ads or what have you, you can, they have a ton of templates for stuff in here. They have a photo library you can add. Some of it you, some of the nicer photos you might have to pay for. See, like these all say pro on them. But this one's free, this one's free. They got a ton of free stuff. You can pretty much search whatever you want in the free and you can find a pretty good free photo. Uh, you got different elements here like shapes and uh, clip art and different grids for photos and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, text, they got a bunch of different fonts. You can add music, that's new. Uh, I don't really know what they, oh, you know what, because you can make, like, GIFs and stuff with this, so. That must be what that's for. Video, video is definitely new, so. Again, that's probably just for the GIFs. Then we got things in the background. Uh, you can add, do textures or solid colors or whatever. And then you have uploads where you can upload things to work on. And you can see here some of my past things that I uploaded to make my YouTube thumbnails. And this is actually the start of what we're going to be doing today. Now, uh, I pretty much want to get rid of most of this background behind me just to make things easier. And we're actually going to end up shopping another image on top of this one. And it's all going to end up being black and white. So, to erase that background, unfortunately, you can only do things like... You can only have transparent backgrounds on Canva with Pro. But there is a workaround. We're going to go over here and we're going to open up Pixlr. Pixlr is a free online photo editor. It's very similar to Photoshop. It's not quite on the level of Photoshop, but it's free. So, yeah, Pixlr.com, and we're going to come up here and hit Pixlr E. Alright, that brings us to the editor. We're going to hit Open Image. That's going to open up the folder that we have the images we're working with. We're going to open that. Uh, okay, so it's telling us that the file size of the image is super big, and I expected that. So, uh, it gives us a couple options of some, to resize it smaller. So I don't want to do full HD, I want to go as high quality as possible, so we're going to choose Ultra HD. 
Now, like I said, uh, we want to erase most of this background. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add what in a lot of spaces is called an alpha channel. It's basically a layer beneath this photo that's blank. So we just, right over here we see layers, and it says backgrounds, we're gonna hit add, and we're gonna hit empty. We wanna add an empty layer. And we want, whatever's on top is the top layer, so we actually want this to go under this image. So this image is locked in place right now, so we just need to double click that lock, and then we'll select it and hit the up arrow. So now we have the blank under the background. Now, to get rid of the background, we're gonna go over here to the Cutout Mask tool. And, yeah, so we have some options here. Shape Cutout, where you're obviously out, you would draw a shape, and that would allow you to, draw, to erase everything outside of that. And then we have Magic Cutout, we have Draw Cutout, and we have Lasso Cutout. So we're gonna go to the Magic tool, and Let's just see what this does. See, that erased most of it, but it also messed with my hair over here. So we're gonna undo that. And we're gonna have to go into the draw cutout. And we're gonna make the brush a little smaller, and we're gonna zoom in and try and manually outline my head. It's gonna be a pain because the mask tool makes a red outline and the wall is red so it's really hard to see but we just gotta do the best with what we can and there's still gonna be a little bit of red in the edges of my hair but in this case that's not that big of a deal because we're going to be making the whole final image black and white so it won't be that noticeable it's still not necessarily ideal. So yeah, you just, again, it's gonna be a pain in the ass and just do it as best you can. So I'm gonna stop talking for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. And sometimes you might have to make a decision to erase some of the hair as well and you just gotta try and make it look as natural as possible. Alright, at this point it should be safe to use the magic cutout tool to get rid of the rest of this red. Still got a line there, we'll take care of that in a second. Yep, a couple little touch up spots, but not bad. And in addition to the big obvious parts, you want to look out for any little teeny tiny things that may have been missed that are hard to see if you can obviously they're hard to see so i'm just gonna make this huge for a second and take out this whole thing yeah, so that's probably mostly good enough and then we're just gonna Crop out these side parts here. This, I think I'll actually use the shape cutout tool. Ta-da! Ooh, cutting that really close. And I still missed a spot up here. But yeah, so there's our first part. Oh, hang on. There's our first part. Like I said, we still got a little of the reddish tinge around the edge, but we're turning this whole thing black and white, so that shouldn't be an issue. So, now we just need to export this and it gives you the option to download it gives you a file type choice we need to choose PNG that's really important because if you don't choose PNG then this erased background will just be a white background we need it to actually have the alpha channel in it so you need to do a PNG 
download it right into the same folder that it came from. We'll call it Zach Alpha. Okay, so now for a second, let's go. Oh, hang on, let's close this. Close that. Let's go back to Canva. Now, I want to drop in for the background. I just want a plain color. So we're just going to do that. Okay, plain black. Like I said, it's going to be black and white. Then we're going to go to uploads and we're going to upload the alpha version. See, it looks like a white background, but when we actually drop it in, it will be transparent. See, it's transparent right there. We did it. I'm just going to drag it and drop it in. There, see? And we're going to make it bigger. I want to be huge. Gigantic. I want to look like God. I'm just kidding. I don't know, I'm wondering if we should change the background now. Maybe, maybe there is some kind of a fire or something? Okay, what, what, what the hell's going on with that? Alright, it's not going to let us add any more background because we already made the basic background, but that's fine. You know what, here, we'll just, let's just undo this and drop in... I don't know, I like these texture backgrounds. The question is, which one should we use? See, it's extra hard to pick because these are in color, and the final version is going to be black and white. So... Picking one of these that will also look good in black and white is the rough part. Okay, let's go with space. Space it is. Perfect. For the hell of it, let's go to the filter, see what that's going to look like in the black and white. Yeah, sure, that'll look fine. Okay, then we'll go back to the Uploads tab. Drop me back in. Make me gigantic. Oh no, is that too big? You guys think that's too big? Yeah, yeah it's too big. It's not really... That's probably more like it. Alright. Now we're going to go back over to Pixlr and let's go new image, open image, and we're going to open up Dave here. Let's do Ultra HD. Hello, Dave. All right, so let's start off. Yeah, we're going to have to mask this manually again, which is fine. It's just a little time consuming, so I'm just gonna rush through. You guys have already seen me do the basics of this, so. Oh, hey, I forgot to add another layer under him. My bad. Empty. Yes, please. Unlock. I'm just gonna do the heavy lifting first and then go in for the smaller details. Dave's going to be really small, so this doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I chopped off his hand. That's okay, I just chopped off half his hand. No big deal. He doesn't need both hands. He's a singer, guys. Come on. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because he's going to be tiny. You just want to get it, you know, as good as you can without going completely and utterly insane. God, listen to me next time. Next thing you know, I'm going to be telling you all to paint some happy little trees. Dave's got some happy little trees right there.
Alright, and let's just try to shape out most of the rest. Alright, and now we have a mostly hollowed out Dave. Not hollowed out, you know what I mean. I can't think of the fucking word I'm thinking of right now. Just, just go with it. We'll save it. Again, you gotta save it as a PNG, because of the alpha channel. Download. We'll call that one Alpha Dave. Okay, now we should be done with Pixelers. So I'm gonna close it, and we're gonna go back to Canva. We'll upload a new image, and we'll upload our Alpha Dave. And now we wait. Alright, and now we'll just drag in our Dave. Look, it's Dave. All right, let's just compress him down to be really tiny. Uh, let's make him a little bigger. I told him when I did when I decided on all this that it was gonna look fucking ridiculous, and I was not wrong. What do you guys think? Left side, right side, center. Because I was trying to get it, so I was looking at him, but I'm looking too much at the camera, which is would come out about here instead of down there. That was poor planning on my part. I apologize. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe put him off to the left here. And I'll also hide that spot that I clearly missed. You guys see that? You guys see that little white spot moving around right, right outside his hat? Whoops. Yeah, let's hide that in the clouds there. So, now I forget there's a way to merge all of these. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to... That's unfortunate. Right, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna start with myself, and I'm gonna filter and see what we get. Yeah, let's start there, okay? I'm gonna move myself out of the way so I can get to the background. And do the same thing to that. I can move myself back in place. See, it all looks super cliche. Super, super cliche. Actually, I can even enhance the, the level of the filter. There we go, that's better. Put the intensity all the way up. Why does that keep doing that? I apologize, guys. I don't know. It's glitching, clearly. I don't know why the background keeps disappearing like that. Probably because the alpha channel is having trouble reading it. Because it is, after all, a free piece of software, so... Crank that. Oh yeah, that looks good, don't you guys think? Yeah? Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good, yeah? I I thought so. Let's let me see. Just for the hell of it. Let's let's play around. Let's go to where are the shapes? Need an oval. Or can I just adjust a circle to be an oval? Oh yeah. See what that looks like zoomed out. That looks fucking dumb. All right, we're gonna just get rid of that. So now we got the basis of a cover. I kind of wanna, I wanna dull it all. So I'm actually gonna drop in a square. Put that just over the whole thing. Get to ten percent. I wanna get that a little bigger than that anyway, just in case. Okay, then we're just gonna turn the transparency all the way down and bring it up to I think it's where it needs to be. Thinking right about there. Yeah, okay, and then we're just gonna drop in some text. And the track is called My Own. I can spell. And I really like this font, Abyss, I've been using that for pretty much everything that I've been doing recently. I've been using that font, so let's switch it to that. Now we just gotta figure out where we wanna put it. Uh, I don't know, 
there's not really a good place to put it. Let's just put it there. And it looks a little blurry now, but when it bounces out, it won't be. I'll slap the actual final product up on the screen here in the video so you can see that it doesn't look blurry. And then we gotta add a subheading featuring Dave Swill. Oh, I can spell his name. Swillum. Okay, and then we're gonna change that font as well. And we want his name to be lined up. So we're gonna put an enter there. And then we're gonna make this a lot smaller so it fits under the song title. Actually, yeah, no, we're not gonna put it under the song title. We're gonna... And of course we gotta put my name on there. Because I'm a conceited asshole, don't you know? Now, see, I feel like we're having a little trouble reading that over my white-ass arm, so I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to change the color of this overlay to black. Ooh, no. Let's make it a darker gray. Oh, yeah, that makes it stand out a little more. Alright, and I think that's where... Oh, my name is off the screen. I am observant today, right on top of it. Alright, so, yeah. That is the final cover there. Just go to up here where it says publish and you're going to download it. And hit download as PNJ and save it wherever you want on your computer. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Obviously, as I mentioned in the video, Canva.com and Pixlr.com, two great free online pieces of software that you can use to make your own graphics, your own album covers, whatever you want. And again, normally I'd recommend hiring out for an actual graphic designer, but if you don't have the money, then these are some great options to get you a pretty good result for no money. So if you guys liked that video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new videos come out. Next week, we're going to be talking about uploading your music to an online distributor. So that's how you get your music into all the online stores and on Spotify and iTunes and everything like that. So I encourage you to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.